Good day everyone and thanks for entering the fourth round of the Michelin EWXC at Bella Bella. The red loop is 15 kilometers long which is for the Pro Elite, Pro B, Senior Pro, Masters and High School classes. This is race one and it starts at 8.30 a.m. The green loop is also 15 kilometers long which is for Silver A and B, Club, Pro Mini and Ladies classes. This is race two and it starts at 10 a.m. The red and green loops are common for most of the way, except for four splits where the red loop will do a few extra insane sections. The splits are well signposted. Race one will run for four hours after the last rider has left the start line. Race two will run for three and a half hours after the last rider has left the start line. If you finish your lap after the cutoff time, that lap will not be counted. So check your average lap times and do the maths. Please keep an eye out for boards indicating what route you're on. Some notes on navigation. All routes are marked with orange markers, which must be on your left hand side. Two markers, one under the other, indicates a turn in that specific direction. Green day glow means you're going in the wrong direction or you've overshot the corner. If you see a lot of small markers all together, this means danger. Please proceed with caution. Orange markers take preference over the GPS track at all times. GPS track will be available on the WhatsApp group and in the email. No GPSs will be loaded by the organizers on race day. The GPS is not compulsory, but it's highly recommended. A big thanks must go to Michelin, Mayfair Gearbox, DC Signs, Fast KTM, Torcraft, Prepsol, CycleWorks Suspension, Empire Graphics, and Bike Kings for sponsoring this event. Big thanks to Leon Becker and his team for helping out with the routes and organizing of the whole event. Denise for all the admin, Rob for the timing, and the marshals for assisting on the route. Riders, please ensure that your details are correct on your race control profile. Food and drinks will be for sale at the event, so please bring cash for this. When you enter the event, you can set up your pit straight away and then go to documentation table where you will be handed your envelope. You must then have your race control tag checked at registration. If you do not sign that you've had your race control tag checked, we will add an hour to your total race time, should there be a protest. Please also check that you only have one race control tag on either of you or your bike. If you're found to have more than one and you've messed up the timing, another hour will be added to your time. It's going to be very hot on race day, so please drink plenty of fluids before and during the race. Right, timing procedures. Your race tags and your numbers must correspond as per they were issued by WAMSA. You must have bike numbers on your bike. You will, especially on the front number board, you will be ejected from the start line if you do not have the correct race number on your bike. Your small seating sticker is not your bike number. Your tags must be mounted correctly, facing up or down, preferably on the peak of your helmet, not sideways as the scanner is overhead. Your starting number, which is the small sticker that you get in your envelope, must be visible on your front board, not obscuring your main number, and please do not stick it on your headlight. Avoid the timing scanning tent with your helmet or tags. No crews or parents may come near the timing control area. The times need to focus and not be distracted. Pre-race start notes. Get in order according to your seating stickers. Start lining up six at a time and in 60 second intervals you will be let go. The dead engines must be in effect until the flag drops. End of the lap, slowly through the scanner tent and confirm with the scanner that they have picked you up. Do not stop in the timing tent, please. First gear through the pit lane. We've had a few complaints about speeding in the pit lane. So the pit lane will be timed. And uh, if you are timed to be faster than the pit lane time, uh, we will impose penalties. Refueling is only on an environmental mat with a fire extinguisher nearby and you must be off your bike. Be careful out there guys, there's rocks, lurkers, long grass, stumps, ruts, trees, and a little bit of mud. They're all part of the route, and the route is the same for everyone, so enjoy it. Some notes on safety. Please be aware that if you come across an injured rider, you're obliged to stop and render assistance. First priority to do is to make race control aware and convey the location, either via a marshal with a two-way radio or by phoning race control. If you have a GPS, mark the waypoint. You can see some videos on our YouTube channel on how to do that. Do not move an injured rider if you do not have to, or only if they are in a very dangerous position, or if the injury is less serious. All riders must stay on the route. Do not stray from the route as we will not be able to find you when sending out the sweepers after the race. Pit crews, please stay behind the barrier tape and be very careful when walking around that you're not close to or on the racing line. 
The number of laps will be posted on the WhatsApp group. The board will also be on display during the race and, and by the timing tent. Please guys, no littering. We supply a litter bag uh, with, with your uh, registration envelope. Please use that and then take your litter home with you or put it in your wheelie bin. Um, each rider will be supplied with a just track unit as well. So at documentation, you will go see Sean and he will issue you with a just track unit that must be placed somewhere on your body, in your camelback, not in the water, but maybe in your bum bag or your camelback. That just helps us uh, recover riders and uh, also just helps to see, uh, see, see the timing. The next Michelin EWXC is on the 1st of June at Blue Groove in Harties. More details to follow in that shortly. And guys, if you're not in the Enduro World News WhatsApp groups, then please join them. Then uh, as usual, email us with suggestions, some suggestions, whether they're good or bad. And thanks for joining Enduro World. We really do appreciate it.